know I'm standing here and I'm like yo am I in Ghana or in New York because <laughs> it looks so good it looks so clean the roads are so good the buildings skyscrapers they look so good so modern you know what let me just take you around Back in history class, we learned so much about Ghana, about the father of Africa, Kwame Nkrumah, you know. We watched a lot of movies about Ghana uh, by Ghanaians and uh, coming to Ghana was just, you know, out of the picture, far-fetched. Um, but, you know, never say never because uh, fortunately, I come to Ghana. This is my third time in Ghana and I love Ghana so much. And whenever I go back, to Kenya my dad and my friends ask me how is Ghana how did you find Ghana you know and I try to explain it to them but they don't quite get it so that is one of the reasons why I did this video because they tell me Trudy we see your video eating you know wearing kente socializing with the people but how is Ghana itself you know so I want to show them that Ghana is beautiful I want to show my YouTube subscribers and the world in general that Ghana is a beautiful place. You know, we're hearing about the year of return, so much um, happening about Ghana, trending news, people coming to Ghana, and you are wondering why, you know. So, I don't know. I thought I should just, you know, give you guys a look inside Ghana so that uh, in case you haven't come to Ghana yet, maybe this will motivate you to come. And if you, you know, not planning to come, but you just want to see what it looks like, this will sort you out. So leave a comment and let me know what you think. Exaggerating, guys, it looks so clean. Wow, I am so impressed. If you're Ghanaian, you should be proud to be Ghanaian. And if you haven't come to Ghana, wait till you wait for come. It's year of return, <laughs> people are returning, and for a reason. You know, I'm standing here, and I'm like, yo. Am I in Ghana or in New York? Because <laughs> it looks so good, it looks so clean. The roads are so good, the buildings, skyscrapers, they look so good, so modern. You know what? Let me just take you around. people this 
airplane right ahead of me was one of the first when Ghana used to have airline and airline and they took it and they you know transformed it into a restaurant how crazy is that this is dope how many countries have thought of that I don't know but I think more countries should like try and learn something from Ghana see so now uh, this is something that looks very unique very different and uh, like an attraction site but still a restaurant. Should you bab? Should you bab? What taxi driver is like? Are you bab? So guys, you haven't seen anything yet. Follow me. Let me show you. Ghana has so many of my favorite places. I love malls so much. There's just something about shopping and the numbers of malls in Ghana. Oh man, I can't count them on one hand. There are so many malls, you know, big, spacious, beautiful, and you can get anything you want, anything, you name it. <laughs> So by no means am I claiming that Ghana is perfect, not at all. Um, all I am saying is that Ghana is the most beautiful country in West Africa and other African countries can learn from it, you know, a couple of things because no country is perfect. And uh, we see so many negative things about, you know, African countries and Ghana. So I just wanted to show the positive side for a change. So this area right here is about 10 minutes walk from Kotoka International Airport. That's the biggest and most beautiful airport in West Africa. Damn, Ghana has it all. <laughs> And finally, the day has come to an end. I am loving the sunset. In this video, I haven't talked so much because I wanted you to hear less and see more. Just, you know, take it all in. I hope you love what you have seen. What do you think about Ghana? You know, um, if you're Ghanaian, what makes you proud to be Ghanaian? Leave a comment below and let me know. I so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, everything is possible. You just have to believe in yourself. Mwah.